sending the warmest greetings to our fellow Catholics. We are thrilled to welcome you back to our channel. Wishing you a good day full of grace in Christ. We hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us on this journey and listen to this video until the very end. Type Amen if you believe, may God always bless you. Before discussing today's topic, let us pray, offering our petitions to our Heavenly Father. O Supreme God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, who sacrificed himself to save us, your pitiable children, from the fires of hell, please listen to our prayers. We offer you our meager sacrifices. We accept challenges and sufferings as a means to bring about the redemption of souls in this warning. We implore your forgiveness for sinners who find it difficult to return and embrace your mercy, that they may offer to you the necessary sacrifices and make amends before you. Amen. Many of you are likely acquainted with mystic Luz de Maria Bonilla, the Catholic stigmatist who has remained in good standing with the Church since 1992. She has received numerous prophecies, including insights into the rise of plagues and remedies against them. Some of these remedies are yet to unfold. Let's revisit the prophecies she recorded. On March 17, 2010, our Lord Jesus Christ urged, Place my cross in a visible spot in your home. Anoint the doors, for a plague approaches humanity, a laboratory produced affliction caused by human hands seeking economic power. This emphasizes the importance of sacramentals, sacred signs resembling the sacraments, as mentioned in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. These objects, ritually blessed by a priest, include holy water, blessed candles, palms, ashes, and more. They serve as reminders of baptism and aids to holiness in daily life. The Blessed Virgin Mary forewarned of plagues as early as October 15, 2009, advising sealing homes against evil. Saint Michael, on August 8, endorsed precautions against contagious respiratory illnesses. The call for obedience aligns with government lockdowns. Medicinal plants with antibacterial properties, like haw and onia, were recommended. On January 31, 2015, Luce quoted the Blessed Mother as saying, another disease is spreading, affecting the respiratory tract. It is extremely contagious. Keep holy water. Use haw and the onia plant to combat it. Also, on May 24, 2017, the Blessed Virgin Mary said, serious illnesses are approaching that attack the digestive system. Use the plant known as Angelica. Use the entire plant properly, with pregnant women being cautious. A disease is coming that will attack the eyes. For this, use the plant known as Eyebright. Brothers and sisters, Eyebright, scientifically known as Euphrasia officinalis, has long been employed in traditional herbal remedies for various eye conditions. To use Eyebright, one common method involves creating an herbal eye wash by infusing dried Eyebright herbs in boiling water. After straining and cooling the solution, it can be applied using a clean cloth or an eye cup to gently cleanse and soothe the eyes, potentially aiding with irritation or inflammation. Additionally, as a warm compress, Eyebright herbs steeped in hot water can be applied to closed eyes using a cloth providing relief for tired eyes or reducing puffiness. The Blessed Mother, however, seemed to have also made antiviral measures when she said on March 12, 2017, As your mother, I beg you to maintain as part of your routine for living the daily necessity of ingesting vitamin C, of ingesting raw garlic or ginger daily. While garlic is known to be antibacterial, it is also reputed to strengthen the immune system. There is also mention of oregano. Our Blessed Mother also cited the use of the Good Samaritan oil, 
but the components are not readily locally available, so I am skipping on it. Residents of Baguio City, where there are pine trees, came to my mind and quote of Jesus on March 1, 2019, when he said, remain on alert. Serious epidemics are appearing before humanity, and they attack the respiratory system, for which I call you to use pineous needles or leaves with extreme prudence, in doses no greater than twice a day in the form of tea. On November 14, 2014, Luce said the Blessed Mother told me about a disease that will attack the nervous system and the immune system, causing serious skin problems, for which she told me to use the leaf of the nettle plant. And L once asked the Blessed Mother what should be done to make the body more resistant to the coming plagues, and the Blessed Mother replied, My beloved, use water boiled beforehand and start the body's detoxification straight away by drinking as much water as possible. In this way, the body will be purified. Gracious Mother, in the radiance of your love, we find solace and strength. Your compassion, a beacon of hope, leads us through life's trials. O, oh, Holy Mother, hear our earnest prayers as we offer our hearts to your gentle care. Guide us with your boundless love, nurture our spirits in times of need, and embrace us in your tender embrace. Your unwavering presence is our sanctuary and refuge. Thank you, cherished brothers and sisters, for joining in this sacred moment of prayer. May the blessings of Our Lady envelop each of us in her divine light. As we conclude, heartfelt gratitude for your presence. Stay connected as we embark on further spiritual journeys together. Until our next encounter, may the grace of Our Lady illuminate your path. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Please leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the bell button to receive notifications when there's a new video. May your moments of adoration before Christ's presence be filled with His grace and love. May you find solace and strength in His embrace. Amen.